Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to add India Mart leads to Zoho CRM automatically. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through India Mart, then I want to create that lead as a contact in Zoho CRM. So now to do this, I need to build a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this, my trigger application will be India Mart and my action application will be Zoho CRM. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to add India Mart leads to Zoho CRM automatically. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through India Mart, then I want to create that lead as a contact in my Zoho CRM. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here, this is the home page of Pabli Connect and in order to reach here, you just have to search for pabli.com slash connect in your browser. So here you can see I've got two options that is of sign in and sign up free. So as I have an existing account, I will simply sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as add India Mart leads to Zoho CRM automatically. On my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as India Mart to Zoho CRM automation because this is an automation for India Mart to Zoho CRM. And now I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. So basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to add India Mart leads to Zoho CRM automatically. So to begin with the process, I will go to my trigger window and over here, I'm going to search for India Mart as my trigger application. And the trigger event will be new leads. So this trigger will start working whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through India Mart. Now moving to my action window, as by using the lead details, I wish to create a contact in my Zoho CRM. So over here, I'm going to search for Zoho CRM as my action application. And the action event will be to create a contact. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So to begin ahead in this automation, I will go to my trigger window and over here I need to establish a connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on connect. So to mention a new connection, you have to mention CRM key. So I'm going to take you to my India Mart account. I will go to the settings over here in my India Mart account. And in settings, I will go to account settings. And here in account settings, this is CRM API. So this is my current API key. I'm going to use this API key and I'm going to paste this key in Pabli Connect. So once that is done, I will click on save. So here you can see that Pabli Connect and India Mart is successfully connected. So now over here, I'm going to refresh the field once and I'm going to click on save and send test request in order to capture the response. So as I did that, here you can see that I have received the response and over here in the response, you can see the details. So here you can see, here's the sender phone, here's the sender name, along with the query ID and the subject. The sender state is also given. Scrolling down to some other details, here is the mobile number, email, and over here are the details of the sender city, address, and over here you can see the query time, product name, and the message. So over here in Pabli Connect, I have received the lead details. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through India Mart, then automatically that lead will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as a trigger application is a polling based one, so this trigger will check for new data in every 24 hours. That means the data will be fetched over here in Pabli Connect in every 24 hours. So as I've got the lead details over here in Pabli Connect, now by using these details, I wish to create a contact in Zoho CRM. So in order to do that, I will go to this action window and now I'm going to establish a connection between Zoho CRM and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect 
and now if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can add a new connection so to add a new connection i will click on connect and here i need to mention the domain so over here in this url this here is my domain i'm going to copy it and over here i'm going to paste it and now i'm going to click on save so here i'm going to click on accept as this is a secure access and the authorization was successful so here you can see that zoho crm and pabli connect is connected so now moving to this lead source field so over here i'm going to select the lead source as online store you can set the lead source accordingly so now moving to these details so here to mention the details in these fields i'm going to use a method that is called as mapping so basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step so as i've received these details from india mart so here in these fields i'm going to map it so here i'm going to map the first name so i'm going to search for the name and this here is the name that is rita shah i have mapped it so over here if you would have noticed it is asking the first name and the last name separately so here to mention the details separately i'm going to click on this add action step and here i'm going to use text formatter by pabli so text formatter by pabli will help me to split the name into two parts so i'm going to click on connect so now over here i'm going to map the text to split that was the name so this here is the name now i'm going to mention the separator as space because i want to separate the first name and last name so here the segment index will be all so once i have done this i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the response and here the first name and the last name is separated so now moving back to zoho crm action window so now over here i'm going to map the first name from the response received from text formatter here i have mapped it now i'm going to map the last name here it is so now moving to email so again from the response received i'm going to map the email here is the email so now moving to the other details so this here is the phone number i have mapped it so scrolling down to these other details so as i have not received these details so here i am going to leave these fields blank and these fields are not mandatory as well so now moving to the mailing city so over here i am going to search for the city so this here is the city i have mapped it moving to the state so again from the response received i'm going to search for the state i have mapped it so here i have mapped the mailing city and the mailing state which i have received from the response from india mart so as i have mapped the details in these fields so this method of mapping is important so that every time you are going to receive a new response so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so in order to avoid the problem we map the information so as i've mapped the details here i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that i have received a response and over here this is a positive response here you can see the message that goes as record added and over here the status is success that means a contact would have been created in my zoho crm account so here in zoho crm under contacts you can see that just now a new contact has been added so here you can see the name here is the email and this here is the phone number so i'm going to show you the other details as well which we have mapped so over here you can see the other details like you can see the lead source and over here you can see the city so here is the city as lakeland and the mailing state is florida so here that means a contact has been successfully created from the lead which we have received from india mart so this automation is a successful one that means now whenever i'm going to receive a new lead through india mart then automatically a contact will be created for that lead in my zoho crm account so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pabli connect so if you have any doubts regarding pabli reach us at support@pabli.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pabli.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel